Yo, what's up guys, Tech with Tom here. So today in this video, we are going to be doing uh, some uh, Legend of Zelda gameplay. We are doing the brand new one, Tears of the... I'll show you right here, actually. So, and also, so is it, is it in the title, but to just add to it, I'll show you. Um, it, it, and I should know the name, but I, I just looked and I forgot. It's great. Uh, so it's, yeah, Tears of the Kingdom. So, uh, boom, we got this right here. Um, so as you can see, it's on, on the Android phone. It's like, well, how to get on there? Like, well, I extracted the game that I bought. Um, and so I was able to get the game on here for demonstration purposes only. Uh, since this is a brand new game, I don't recommend downloading it. Um, somebody who was hosting this game on a website was actually sued four hundred thousand dollars. So Nintendo takes this seriously. And I want to, if anybody for somehow from Nintendo sees my tiny channel, um, hopefully it's bigger. But just know I did not upload this anywhere. I don't intend to redistribute the software. All I was doing was pulling the file so I could show it on a Android phone to demonstrate the power of this device. That's all I was doing. I um, just want to make that clear before we start. Don't recommend piracy. Don't do that. Um, and yeah, uh, enjoy the video. Thank you so much. Uh, if you like what you see at the end, leave a uh, subscribe. Like, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. And let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, hit that subscribe to my channel if you want to uh, support it with uh, anything monetarily. Leave a super thanks if you want to. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much. Enjoy the video. Yo, what's up guys? Tech B Tom here. Uh, so today I'm gonna be playing some Yuzu emulator. Um, again, S wasn't working, so the alternative is definitely Yuzu emulator. Um, like I said in the intro, I just want to clarify, I'm gonna be playing some Legends of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I have bought this game and I basically took the game and extracted it. Um, and then was able to pull the pull the Nintendo Switch file, and then I was able to run it on here. As you can see, the first launch didn't work, and that's what happens every single time. It's like when you finish a game, and then you close out, and then... Um, so I went in, and then I changed some settings, then I closed out again. So when you manipulate a lot of settings, what you're going to find is the game is going to just kind of um, open and close, and it's just kind of a typical thing. Um, I think it's just because it didn't really... Typically, it's the case where... The settings do need a couple seconds or at least like a run through to kind of finalize and so when that doesn't happen it needs to kind of force close after it does it so i just think that was what was happening um and yeah so as you can see here we have the um wonderful game um but yeah i don't recommend downloading roms uh people are getting a, uh, a lot of trouble for downloading them from like um online sources or it's the person who uploaded them but yeah i don't recommend doing that especially with like a brand new game um everything is at your own discretion i just don't think anyone's hanging on to uh legend of zelda ocarina of time that much th these days so you, you kind of get what i'm saying but yeah this game seems pretty sick and i definitely 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 was not really knowing what to expect I mean, but as you can see so far, it's already visually very um, appealing. I don't even have the highest settings on, so you can imagine what it's like when they're fully blasting. I was just kind of trying to guarantee that the game would run smoothly. I do find that just that native Switch graphics, it runs the best on this phone. Um, reason being is there's not a lot of space in this phone. Not space, like space, space, space-wise. But when it comes to the actual space within the phone, like, see, the vent is good and it works uh, for a lot of games. But if you'll notice in the Switch, if you have one, there's two huge vents with a lot of space for um, them to essentially deal with heat. And uh, I wouldn't really have that here. And so that is kind of why um, I'm keeping it low because I know that this Switch emulator generates a lot of heat. To be honest though, like the fan kept it cool. I didn't really feel anything, like anything at all. So it felt, felt really good. Um, just noticing kind of like, at least initially, except I love, I love like how it really does feel like a little cave. You know what I mean? I love like the little, uh, also the, I guess the uh, bluish lights. I think that, I just really like that, you know?
do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Okay, cool. And those cutscenes are really nice. They do a good job of making you really feel like you're in a cave, especially when you're like walking around, stepping around. I'm just trying to kind of figure out the controls here. You'll see later on, I try to remap them with one of the built-in features of the Red Magic Gate Pro that you get. You can also do like native mapping, but I wanted to kind of show off one of the features. So you'll see that later on. But I, I do really kind of like how they always kind of start you off in a, um, in a cave. I think they do this because it sort of allows you to really I don't know what game it was but somebody said that when they started in, a, in like a cave in one of the games and they, and they first like stepped out of the cave into the open world and it was really bright and beautiful like it was just so shocking and they'd never seen anything like it and I think I don't know if it was actually another Zelda game um, or it was something along the lines of a game like that but either way I think it was really impressive, and I think somebody had overheard, excuse me, overheard it, um, because it definitely seems like it's what they do eventually. A lot of cutscenes. Like, even like a little animations like that, I really, really like how the cape will like swing. You know what I'm saying? Like games I'm used to, it's just like everything's very stiff on the characters and they just walk in a direction. I think you're yeah, doing great. This also shows um, Nintendo does a pretty good job with having like the best hardware in their device. Like, they make do with the graphics they have, and I think they also look pretty unique. Like, I don't... I don't know. You can tell, like, the characters are a little... Like, some, they're a little cartoony, but then they try to make the environment realistic, but not too realistic. It's a really, really nice balance. Sorry, I'm kind of off the screen there. Try to correct it. Um, On a side note, I really enjoy, like, the joystick kind of controls... Right there, you you can. Uh, I was like, oh, you can climb on the wall. It's pretty sweet. Played like Breath of the Wild for a little bit, but not enough to like beat the game or anything. So it's kind of new. I was like, as you can see, there's some frame drops here. I think it's just the system adjusting to the game. Man, I'm falling below the screen again. But yeah, you can see, it's also kind of odd with uh, its management of shadows. I don't know if. It's because the fire's going and they're trying to move back and forth. I think a higher graphic settings, like settings, uh, higher settings uh, for graphics will improve this. But I don't think it looks too bad, to be honest. I think it looks pretty solid. I do like the intricate detail they put into these, like the wall art. Um, they do a good job with lore. Of course, like any game, but and I felt <clears throat> seeing this stuff, it just kind of gave me like chills a little bit. Cause I was like, man, this is like a pretty deep storyline. Like it seems, seems pretty cool. I'm not too big on following storylines, but. Just not trying to interrupt my bad. Of 
But yeah, leave a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. YouTube's kind of fucking with me, saying I don't have 927 subs, like, that I've, like, lost six, so, like, my studio's saying that I'm, like, 921. It's really annoying. It's like, bro, why you do like that? But, because I was like, dude, I lost six subs. That shit sucks, dude. I don't think I did. But, yeah, hit that subscribe button, kind of fix whatever's going on. Get to the thousand subscriber goal, so thanks, guys. Like it looks like uh, it, it literally looks like Milan or Mulan. Mulan, they say that. It's cool they give you like a switch with a camera on the back. Whoops. Bump the mic. But yeah, it looks like most likely what you'll do during the game is find ways to. This is speculation. I don't even think this is it at all. Maybe you get the gist of the game without it. Um, but maybe you come back with an ability to kind of remove the rocks or something that unhides the murals. And then also, what's that darkening cloud stuff? You see that on the ground, the black mist? I was curious. I was like, what is that? Like, I do like how everything is climbable. I think that they did a good job with this. I mean, Genshin Impact kind of literally used the same game model or game engine to make their game and you can climb everything there. I think I think that's like maybe why this runs well too. Um I don't know. Obviously it is again designed for a mobile device being the switch, but still. Now I was ready to <laughs> To knock something out where I was like, man, I need to get some action, bro. I've literally been getting like no action talk. Literally none. Come on. Don't do your boy like that. Leave in the comment section what you think of this game so far. Um, I know it's been like just kind of a let me know what you think of the cutscenes. And as time increments, like, just let me know what you think. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts. Oh, look, it's one of the tears, bro. Bruh. My God, this guy kind of freaked me out. He looks dark, bro. That's fuck. Dark as in, like, evil. Look at those eyes, bro. Yo, fuck that. Imagine, like, turning over at night and just like seeing those eyes bro no thank you <laughs> oh that was a cool way to start you as a beginner again like i'm not gonna lie that was pretty sick to have that like a visual of it taken away from you um that shit's on your sword too <laughs> this guy just makes me think of Skeletor. <laughs> Look at him just looking, incrementally moving. Just, just shit, bro. <laughs> Man, they always got these evil characters doubting you. It's really, it's really great. I 
I don't know, I like the lore. I also feel like this is like, this game kind of feels like Kingdom Hearts without all the Disney, to be honest. Like, I'm sure there are ways it's nothing like it at all. Maybe I'm full of it, but I just feel like, just like the lore and like the characters and just, it just makes me feel the same way that Kingdom Hearts does. And I think that that's really nice because there hasn't been a game that's made me uh, feel like that. Um, and of course, uh, this game is obviously playable on here, but I personally, I'm not going to play without one, my game, sir, because that's going to make it feel like a, basically a Switch and way more playable. Um, but two, since I have a Switch, I'm going to go back to my Switch to play it. I'm not really going to play it on here. As, uh, obviously, I do in the video, but this is just for demonstration purposes. See, that reminds me of, like, the end of Kingdom Hearts 1, where Sora's reaching out for Kairi as she's, like, getting pulled away. Um, that felt, and then it also felt like a blend of like when she gets like sucked through them after they open the keyhole on the island. Man. I mean, yeah, but like this visually looks pretty, pretty like pleasing. I don't know. I mean, it's cool seeing like meteor things fall, like fall from the sky or, you know, rocks from the uh castle or below the castle what man this is this is what happens when you don't listen <laughs> bitches didn't listen and now they fucked everything up bro but this is sick your boy out here like cyborg man it's like immediately what i thought it's like this dude is <laughs> a booyah <laughs> Every time I see that arm, bro, boo, yeah. I love that, uh, that saying gets me, but I'm talking about, uh, like, uh, Cyborg from Teen Titans, but bro, look at that. That is, like, I mean, it fits well with the game, but. But it turns it off. Oh, man. Woo. It is, uh, pretty late here, y'all. It's, like, 1.15 in the morning, and I am feeling tired, but yeah. <laughs> You're about to have a whole new experience with that arm. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, okay, so another thing, too, is, like, I've reconstructed your arm. And maybe he gets powers with his arm, but, like, I didn't see any shit. Are you kidding me? You're going to give me this glowing-ass arm, but you're not going to give me cyborg powers? You're not going to give me some crazy-ass, like, cannonball I can shoot out my arm? Like, I still got to rely on crafting sticks and fucking shit? Like, come on, bro. Like that, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe down the road you can do that. And I'm sure you can. I just didn't get to that point. So I might be talking smack. And yeah, I'm obviously going to push the game further. And if I notice things are different, I'm going to go to the comment section and let you guys know that I experienced way more with that arm. Cause like they wouldn't like have like little foreshadowing. I'm just like a glowing arm for like, obviously they're like, you know, it's like being like, whoa, look at the arm. But also like it, it kind of makes me think like, Oh, so it was glowing, looks like this, and then next he gets the weapon, and the weapon's broken. It's like, okay, so if the weapon's broken, and I only eventually maybe might be able to use sticks or something, like maybe there's going to be something to do with my glowing arm, because uh, one, some god thing that salvaged him, or wh whatever it says, I don't remember, y'all just heard it, um, whatever whatever it was that salvaged him seemed to, be give it, seemed to give him some kind of... Uh, power, but I think it's also pretty sick that he 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 looks very rugged. So, you know, so my brother and I, when we were kids, this is kind of fucked up. But for our toys, we would like when we get bored of them, we would we would opt for some mod uh, modifications. And this is where I feel like Sid from Toy Story. But when I look back, like afterwards, we're like, shit, that's exactly what we're doing. But we literally would rip the arms off. Now I know what you're thinking, like, why would you do that? Well, uh, we had the wonderful way of improvising like we would literally rip arms off of toys and then just put the ones we wanted on and tape it on um and it actually worked uh it really worked it was fun dude it was actually a good ass time like i remember i've always i want to play with uh, donatella that like purple one 
Um, I rather liked uh, like Michelangelo, like the one with the orange. Um, and I also remember arguing with him, thinking like, it's Donatella, bro. <laughs> it's like saying it wrong. But yeah, here, like, uh, I just saw, like, I don't know. I think on here it's good to keep, like, a lower angle because you don't get the weird shadow thing that really bothers me. And, like, it shifts out from, you know what I mean, like, having this hue to just having, like, it, you know what I mean? Like, see that? <laughs> Personally, it bothers me. Just, like, the boredom that causes us to rip the arms off the toys we can. <laughs> Yo, I'm so sorry, guys, that. That phone is hovering down. Man, bro, if I do you... Okay, good. It's like, man, if I do you guys like that, bro, what am I doing? Yeah, see, there's some heavy frame skipping there. It's going to happen. Um, I do notice that eventually it does recover. But um, keep. I think it's also because of that light switching. I'm not really sure. Um, this reminds me of... I think it was like the more cartoonish looking Zelda um, from the GameCube, but when you wouldn't actually I mean obviously I think you're jumping around in some areas but they mix in that whole like you know it's like a mechanic like you'll go to the edge you'll hit jump and it'll, it's going to jump for you I think they they try to mix in elements of that because you see how mature he looks like of course he look, looked pretty mature I guess in the other one but um there's one where like I play it in my Diablo game mode video or the eco mode one I'm not entirely sure but um if you didn't know, oh, it's also sick getting some pants. But if you didn't know, there's different modes on this phone, like eco mode, balance mode, rise mode, and then Diablo mode. You have to enable it a certain way. If you look up Diablo mode, I have a tutorial, like right in the beginning, just how to enable it. Um, so, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, if you want to boost the show, I'll do that. But, but either way, um, I have a video on eco mode. And in that video, it shows the uh, Zelda game I'm talking about. It basically looks very cartoonish, and he's like super little. It's a very unique art style, but it feels like they took certain elements from each game while keeping it as open as Breath of the Wild. And I feel like that like really helped them because, dude, Breath of the Wild was just like a, a whole nother level. I'm being real here. Like, like bro, nothing around that time touched could touch that game, bro. Like, like looking at that and seeing how like, like in 2018, that was pretty. That was pretty much unheard of. Games were not that big, especially a game on a Switch or something. Like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just didn't know something different. But I remember that was uh, 2018. Might have been 2017. I think it was 2017. But either way, um, I I literally, I literally remember. Uh, my buddy, my buddy Chandler. Um, he was uh, we used to like live together in college and um. He, he he was playing the game and I was just so fascinated, bro. I thought the game was so friggin' sick, dude. This is also a cool moment, by the way. This is where they introduce you to the game. Like it's that thing where like trying to show you how like beautiful the world is. And it is pretty good looking. I feel like it might look way better on a Switch because it's built for that. Um this has better specs, but I obviously think since that game's I didn't mind for that device it's gonna function a lot better but surprisingly for getting like a current game I guess this is the thing pulling a game that was like released a month ago and being able to run it smoothly on a cell phone like that's pretty sick but yeah it's your boy my fucking Dick V Tom out here playing Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom um yeah so here I am I'm trying to turn on do not disturb because there's like a notification sign you'll just hurt but yeah as you guys can see it's pretty late as i'm recording this i did not do the audio um right away but yeah look at the water man look at the reflection in the water man i thought that looks so good and then these <laughs> it's fun bro giant lily pads like that's kick-ass and yeah here's where the confusion begins if you're curious but yeah look at that ray tracing man like just the reflection on the water it feels very much like whoa like holy crap but I just, the little frame drop there, it's all right, though. For the most part, it's sick. I think, like, it just, it's stuff like that that is really fun. This kind of reminds me of a little bit of, like, Tide of Tasmanian Tiger. Because that, if you play that PS2 game, that game is sick. So, that game starts off in, like, an open world, kind of, like, um, Australian kind of, like, meta -y feel. Like, this is, this is doing that. It's also, you know what's weird? This step down also 
I don't know if you guys have played, this is random, but I don't know if you played Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty 5, uh, World of War. Um, so in that one, there's a map called Castle, and as there's like a step down, uh, there's like a step down part from the main castle. This feels like that. Um, that's immediately what that reminded me of. But yeah, this, 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 this dude showed up. I was like, bro, what's going on here? Um, yeah, there's some the funny uh, frame drops here, but as, oops, as you can see, it does smooth out. Um, so hopefully, hopefully you guys can see too. So, yeah, I was like, man, I gotta pick this stick up because like he, dude, that my freaking thing stopped. Yo, know, he took the branch, bro. Like, or he picked up a branch. I think I thought when mine broke, he picked it up. Um, but yeah, sorry about the frame drops. It's it's uh, it's not that horrible as you can see. It's not like. It's not, it's going to be as smooth as like a switch, but it is pretty nice. And I, I would say that this is probably the best performance on an Android phone or any phone in general that has switch that you're going to be able to get. Um, I just like, I mean, this is a close to but yeah, this guy was like following me, trying to whack me. So I was like, bro, I'm gonna climb up this tree because this guy's being a little bitch, bro. <laughs> or me pretty much climb up through. Maybe I'm a little bitch, but, <laughs> but I was like, bro, where is a stick? I don't have anything to fight. Like, I just noticed my, my stick broke. And I was like, dude, I don't know what to do. But I, f I feel like he's, it's like a funny character. Like, that thing is weird that it's just <laughs> following you around with the stick. Like, I thought he picked up the stick that I dropped. And <laughs> it was just chased with it. I love how also you're getting chased by like a, a it's a goofy looking enemy. He doesn't, okay. And also, I don't, man, so this is, this is a, this is a moment in time where, um, you will notice that I missed something very, very, very crucial. Uh, I won't tell you what it is to build anticipation, but, but yeah, I mean here, like, it's kind of cool that there's like little ancient ruins. I was like going around, like looking for stuff, like, you know, we find the tree branch, there's some mushrooms around here, um, which is kind of cool. You know what I mean? You got like the, those remind me of like, um, <laughs> runescape trees, kind of funny. Like the old ones, kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so I was trying to hit the trail thing. Like maybe like that's how your resources. I haven't played. The, um, also, I'm not about the uh, thing in the bottom, bro. Uh, oh, my boy, uh, Robert was texting me. So if y'all are into some uh old school RuneScape gameplay, buddy, my buddy Robert has uh, his channel is just bored. Like B0RT. If you're curious uh, and want to watch some OSR's gameplay, that guy knows a lot about the game and he's very good. He's very good. I don't know that guy for years. He's really, he's pretty funny too. He's a cool guy. Uh, he does really good videos. He's working on like three right now. He's really pushing his channel, just like I am. And if you guys would uh, want to show some love to one of my good friends, um, go ahead and do it. Speaking of good friends, uh, your boy Matty Ott, thanks for that $2 again. And to my boy Alec, thank you for that $5. Uh, your freaking legend. His tag is this is Dan. Uh, Matty out says Matty out uh, YT, and then my boy Bert is B zero RT. So check these channels out. Uh, hit them up with the subscribe, bro. Man, man, I can't stand these notifications. I should have turned on Do Not Disturb. Bro. Come on, what am I doing, bro? <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see here. Um, I was like, maybe, so I try to hold on, I don't know if this is right now, but I try to hold on to the object, something like maybe, maybe if they're my hands, like I can craft them into something or something like maybe, maybe tree branch plus blade. And then I don't know, I could get some kind of weird energy by attaching that a warp. You know what I mean? So I was thinking like maybe something like that might happen, but this is also me just learning the ropes this game, man. Like, I really haven't played, like, Zelda a ton. I remember, see, like, but that looks cool, man. You see how, like, shiny and, like, reflective the thing is? I love, like, games that are aesthetically losing. I think because these gra graphics are, they're not looking the best on here, if I'm being honest. Um, but I, I hopefully think that that's not everybody's goal. Um, I was here thinking, like, man, maybe I just dive off. <laughs> and you'll You'll see my theory here as to how well that goes. I don't know if this is the part where I did, but very, very soon. See, I was 
so close to something I won't tell you. You saw it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. If you watch gameplays, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, also, I was thinking, too, like, maybe I put that power source in there because it looks like it has kind of, like, a weird center thing. So it's like, yeah, maybe I could just, like, like throw it on, or at least put it on there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you see the arrow? Like, I was like, oh, maybe, like, you set it on there, and then it just goes, you know, shows animation of it, like, put it on there, and then it goes, wall, and, like, the little bridge pops up. So it's hoping. And as you can see, wait for it. Yep, no luck. So it's like, oh, well. Okay, that's fine. I do like that when you get close to a rock, you don't really have to press A or anything. Like the the game will just auto jump for you or auto, or auto climb for you. Think that it I think they're trying to undo that stereotypical NPC run where like if you're not doing a command you're running to the side there's that invisible wall it just you just got like basically the air the moonwalk so it's kind of like trying to avoid that see I was thinking like man maybe I could like smack it or maybe maybe there's something I, I don't know I was just trying to I was basically trying everything I was thinking like man I don't really know what to do but I gotta bring you guys along when I'm figuring out what's going on. See, right there, I was like, ooh, let's go away. And then there was no water below. So the cushion for the fall was not there. <laughs> yeah. It... But yeah, I was thinking, okay, like, so maybe, maybe I can climb down. Like, maybe that's... Maybe that's something that's possible. But, um, you know... Who actually knows? Who actually knows? I think he knows. I've been... I follow this meme page. Uh, I think it's like a Spongebob meme page. But I don't know if you guys have seen it. Where it's, it's like this thing where... They try to take Mr. Krabs out of on like a day that where he's not at the office. And he kind of enjoys himself. He doesn't like it at all. Because obviously he's like a big workaholic. But <laughs> it's like this thing where... Or, they're like, you know what it is? They think Mr. Krabs is like super lame because they don't want him going to the panty raid. <laughs> bro, what the hell is that episode, bro? The panty raid. <laughs> they're like, you're just sneaking to Miss Puff's house, bro. That, that's just funny. <laughs> Damn, bro. Mr. Krabs likes a big dog. <laughs> Man, also, the fucking metaphor they had whenever, like, Mrs. Puff would obviously be a puffer fish, so on contact, on contact with aiming, if it was like impact, they puff up. So she would puff up, but obviously SpongeBob boating school was like, you know what I'm saying? Like he never passed ever. Uh, I think eventually it does maybe, maybe. Pro I mean, nah, it doesn't pass. And I also think of like when Patrick was. <laughs> They, like, put a walkie-talkie in SpongeBob's head and put the Krusty Krab thing on top, and he's, like, right at the finish line. He's like, good job, SpongeBob. You, this is Miss Puffer. You're like, good job, SpongeBob. You completely changed. Like, you, this is marvelous, wonderful. And then, like, and so... He's like, I'm a fraud. What? She's like, well, that's, of course, unless you somehow cheated, but I don't think... Cheated. Cheat, cheer, dad. I don't remember exactly how he freaks out, but eventually he ends up taking his hat off, freaking out, and then he pulls a hard left, crosses everywhere. Yo, girl puffs up. But I also think that that's like a metaphor for having a job like that would be stressful and under stress you gain weight and you eat a lot. And I think that that's a way of insinuating what somebody might do in that situation if they're constantly stressed. Um, also, I think how, like, I don't know if lethargic is the right word, but she's very... She's pretty much shout out to work like, bruh. She, like, embodies a lot of what I noticed in Squidward. I love Spongebob Boys. Like, that's a good-ass show, man. Seasons 1 through 3, bro. Like, those were the titties, dog. That was the motherfucking shit, okay? I don't care what anybody else has to say. There's some fucking haters. I recall somebody was like, you Spongebob, bro? You fucking kid? Like, what are you, child? I was like, yes. 
fucking asshole just to go along with it. I'm sorry you were fucking sick and fucking in middle school when that came out, bro. But I was a kid, okay? So, I just fucking sue me, bro. I don't know. That pissed me off. How you gonna hate on your boy, one? And two, how you gonna hate on SpongeBob, dog? So, as you can see, the fungus drop below. But hopefully you guys are paying attention to just, like, what I'm doing. And that doesn't really bother you. Um, yeah, apologies about that. But, yeah, here I am just continuously looking around for any sign of what i'm supposed to do i was like fuck it i'll climb a tree these are some big ass trees too bro like i think i mean they're supposed to be redwood trees i guess it makes sense but but yeah i was like oh shit like a bird like maybe this is me getting closer to where i need to be um, yeah, eventually I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna do y'all a favor and look it up, and then I found this dude on YouTube, um, if you'd literally just look up Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild, um, walkthrough, he's like one of the first ones that pops up, he's a pretty cool guy, keeps it really clean, he doesn't like talk about a bunch of like, crap and raunchy stuff during his, uh, things, he just swears and stuff, so if you're into like, more clean style, uh, playthroughs, that guy, um, the guy does a good job, and a lot of people enjoy his content and he knows what to do and he's very familiar with all this if you're looking for like a really really good gameplay uh i'm gonna go look actually right now um real quick man this thing's showing nine See, my page says 927. My creator studio says 921. Bruh. Come on. I, anyway, I got distracted. But whatever that guy's name is, he's a pretty cool, dude. But yeah, I love, like, this water, too. So, one thing that I wish they didn't do, so obviously, like, obviously the water has to end sometimes, but, like, look how, look how it doesn't brush up against the rocks. It's something picky, but, like, bro, water is going to splash. It's not going to stay there. It's not going to look really blocky. Um, these are probably low settings, to be honest, for the graphics. Um, but I guess you're also not in it for the graphics. I don't really know. I think it looks pretty good on the Switch. Um, and I obviously can multiply the graphics. I'm not doing that for the sake of smoothness and me not having to just constantly. Like, the sacrifice for good graphics sometimes is dealing with overheating. Kind of have to just save every five minutes or something. Probably not as frequently as that, but you kind of get what I'm saying. But yeah, eventually, I'm pretty sure I do figure this out. Um, hopefully you guys are at least enjoying the scene. <laughs> but here I was like, man, do I like, what do I do with this? You know what I mean? I was, I felt very confused. I felt like, like sometimes with these games, like the reason I like games that are more storyline based is because I sometimes feel very overwhelmed with the, and this game's probably not that hard when you like know what you're doing, but it feel, it just kind of feels like. Feels like something that I don't know. Also, the uh, all-seeing light popping up on the screen, bro. But yeah, I have a ton of uh, tech videos and stuff too. If you guys are curious about other stuff that I do besides just this, um, yeah, definitely go and check it out. If you don't want to just, if you want to skip to where I actually end up kind of like playing the game more and we're not just running around in a circle here obviously i don't blame you if you skip forward um but you want to sit here and listen to me ramble it's got like sounds good too but i i do get close to i was just like getting fed up man i was like i'm gonna hit everything bro like i can't stand this come on bro <laughs> it's like dog you're killing me So one thing too is I like games that come from shows that are good. That's why I love like, I suppose Kingdom Heart. Well, actually I love like being able to experience a good feeling from a TV show. That's why I love Kingdom Hearts because of the Disney stuff. Like I love being able to like go into the worlds that I see 
like on the screen. And so when you can do that, plus they incorporate action. Also, this reminds me of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Like right here, this is a spot. It's not like a bridge up, but out of one of the levels where you like are with like pandas, I think it's one of the first ones. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but um, there's like pandas there. Uh, it reminds me of that. Also, in Spyro 3, there's another one like that too. I just, I really enjoy like the ancient kind of ruins. Like it feels very like, um, I don't know the terms. I'm not very good with history, but I'm sure you probably, if you know, comment below. Um, but yeah, so. I was also excited to get those pants. You know what I'm saying? We got, a, we got a drop. We picked up a drop. Boy, you know what I'm saying? But I, I think um, this is me getting that stick. This is, by now, I looked up the tutorial, so it should be picking up a little bit with more more, uh, more going on and me running in a circle. So apologies about that. You tight if you stuck through it. Appreciate it. But yeah, um, hope you guys are enjoying the game plan here so far. I mean, it's um, it's running smoothly, like you know, and like especially since no other phone right now has a fan. That actually, the Rogue one has a fan, but um, I mean, I would just get the Red Matic one because it's twenty four gigs of RAM. I don't hate the Rogue phone. If if Asus wants to ever send me a device, I won't say no. That's all I'm saying. Also, if you're like a phone company that wants to sponsor me, not a big one, but it's a small one like use phone i will take your devices review them however you'd like um you can you basically you can just contact me um via i'm gonna put like an email because i feel like it's hard to reach out for any business things if i don't have anything but basically um I'll, okay that's pretty loud anyway um, power out. Yeah, notice that. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, find a uh, email for y'all and I'll stick it under. Ah, uh, so y'all can reach out. But yeah. I thought I could make the jump and then I don't. It would have been funny if I fell off though. But still. I think it was so the thing with me is I I'm I love like games that are very slow paced. And I like you'd think they'd be the opposite, because I love like Call of Duty and things. Don't get me wrong, I love playing those games. I play them all the time. But I do like games that are open world. And you can relax. And I hopefully think, like, hopefully you're enjoying me um, relaxing. Um, I don't know why I did a thumbs up, but for whatever reason, maybe I found something. I don't know. Hopefully, I show y'all. Yeah, that was where I looked up another thing, too, because I was like, where do I go? This is taking forever. Um, And, like, I'm kind of getting tired of this environment, to be honest, but I think the game also will offer more variety when it comes to environments versus just, like, the same kind of yellow grass everywhere. Um, I think we're, it's just because we're literally in the first part, and I'm I'm excited to see, like, where... This game takes you, and if I can use the arm on the right for some kind of powers or something, bro. Can you imagine I'm in fucking, like, cyborg powers? But then you bitch ass could swing like Spider-Man with your weird, like, electricity, like, rope thing. Like, there's so many things they could have done. <laughs> and they chose to do nothing. According to me right now, without having looked any further into the game. So, uh, as of right now, it exists like this, and... Oh, looking for that bank spot, bro. You know, <laughs> yo, bank with the hubba, the stair set, bro. Yo, boy, hey, we caught up on that that four stair dog. 
Oh shit, little bank bird, little birds. Yo. So literally, I man, <laughs> dude, I almost. We are very close. As you can tell, that spot is very significant. Bruh. What's going on here? <laughs> Uh, yes, I did spend 20 minutes running in a circle because I didn't look up a guide. Just saying. So right here, I was like, I was looking for, so I noticed in the guy's video that I'm watching is like a little guide. He got that like switch tablet looking thing that they showed in one of the cutscenes. Um, and I was wondering where, because I was like, maybe what are the enemies, the enemy we fought at the beginning looks like the guy in the video that he talks to. So I was thinking maybe after I killed him, he dropped it or something like that. I don't know exactly, but that was, that was my thought process. So I was, I was right here. I was kind of like looking around for that. Yeah, see? This is where I noticed it, man. Um, why didn't I cut the thing? <laughs> it's just like, bro, what am I thinking? Like, come on. <laughs> Here's your boy. <laughs> I am Oglong. <laughs> it's like what I think of fucking his bitch ass would be named Oglong, dude. Just a way different than I was expecting. I do like how they have very like curious, like almost like alien like entities like like i almost feel like that is kind of see there it is there's the switch let's advertise a switch inside of a switch game i do like that it acts as a camera so you can kind of like stop things and it does probably does a lot a lot more than that, but but yeah, big map. Um, obviously, as you keep going, uh, more of the map opens up, which I think is cool. It's a lot like, like that. I remember was the way that Skyrim was with its map. Like, um, I remember when my buddy would play like all the time. Um, he essentially would as you progress the game like the map would expand and i think that that's kind of a good idea that they incorporated but finally boys we have completed the impossible task of getting over the bridge what's good took 25 minutes of me running around collecting resources because i don't know what to do and then finally look at a video letting my pride go uh yeah off topic but i've been playing a ton of RuneScape lately. So if you guys haven't, haven't been seeing me post. Uh, when this first time I've done it a few days. I've been literally grinding that shit out. Bro. I literally was playing. Um, uh, it's called Elite Dungeon 3. It's called Shadow Shadow Rift. Or Shadow Reef. I think it's Shadow Reef. Basically it's just like an underwater. Like dungeon thing that you run through. You can. But you get a ton of XP. And right now. The, the thing with it is that they're going to nerf it. So they're going to nerf the XP. So. Because I lost my main three accounts, I'm pushing one of them, and I'm getting... I've been grinding, bro. I haven't got this thing that allows me to get double XP. Got, like, special offer for it. So, earn a double, but plus 50. So, that, that's been, like, more incentive. So, when I'm in there, like... I've been getting, like, 17k XP per kill, which is a lot for RuneScape, bro. If you think about it, like, people... Some monsters you kill, like... Ferrock guards, sound monsters, but they're people, like... You can... You kill them for training. 21 XP. So if you can think about, one, actually how long it took me to just get to those 99s with the, even the high XP, then thinking about how long of a grind RuneScape actually is if you didn't have the opportunity to be 3 which means if they're nerfing out the 7th of August, if you're listening to this point, you want to play, bro, if you want to come back, yo, please get on now, dog. Please, I'm telling you, man, like, when they don't have a way to really, really, really boost out, out um, your skills, I know me personally, I'm not going to sit here and just grind out tiny increments of XP all day. Some people enjoy that. Some people like the challenge of it. But me, yeah, so here's like, ooh, camera. <laughs> I feel like James Woods. Ooh, Piscati. Ooh, Piscati. 
I don't know if you guys have seen that Family Guy. That was a long, long time ago. Probably. This episode, I think it's called, like, James Woods High or something. But basically, they have to, like, <laughs> they're trying to get James Woods out of their house because he won't leave them alone, essentially. And not in a weird way, but, like, he thinks him and Peter are friends. So he's trying to, and he's, like, really excited about it at first, but then it becomes way too overbearing. And because they're trying to get, trying to get James Woods out of the house, but he becomes, like, starts to threaten things. Here you can see I'm moving, as you probably see him a little bit. I'm basically moving these things around. So these are button remappers. So um, you might have seen me also do the triggers. So you can set the triggers, obviously. But this is also, this is a button remapping. So I can take, I can move a button where I want, and then I can take these toggles and put them in the actual buttons. And so uh, in here might not be the best example, I just, but I've never shown this in a game, um, and I wanted to kind of figure out a good way to display it. You can obviously just move the toggles around within the game, but I'm still for demonstration purposes, I did it. But yeah, so But yeah, still moving these map buttons around. So yeah, as you can see, you can like just size and move around. You can kind of just like put them where you want. And this is kind of a uh, freedom I kind of like within games. Uh, most games fortunately do allow you to remap, but the ones that don't have remapping options, it's perfect for that. Um, you can even do like, uh, and it's just, it's it's nice. It gives you a level of, uh, for, and this is nice for games that don't have deliberate buttons. So if it's out of your reach, you can just, and you don't have any like hardware top, like let's say you're using like the top trigger buttons for something like, because so for instance, I, for me, for healing during Elite Dungeon 3 and Redscape, I've been setting like the, there's a, so I don't know if you, if you haven't played a long time, basically Redscape 3 implemented the, very vaguely, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the, I'm not talking about in depth everything about the combat, I know there's, Everyone who's into that is going to say, I don't know what I'm talking about, don't know what I'm talking about, but what I mean is just literally the toggles for powers that you press, and then they, they'll have a, like a little refresh spin circle, like that's it. But you have powers on RuneScape, and one of the things you can do is you can, you can drag certain things you want, you can, it can be like actual just old classic prayer spell, or uh, magic spells or whatever, uh, to like the new abilities, so you can drag them on your little power bar thing, and so I, I but I put the food one on and I set the shoulder trigger to it. So when I'm low on food, I don't have to like click and try to find something. I just hit the shoulder trigger up top and it heals me. And I can spam it to eat and I can eat and like heal myself in life like that. It has saved my ass a few times, bro. Like especially when you're training up a skill. That's like the worst. So one thing I would recommend sorry I'm being away from like, but one thing I would recommend is um, if I were you, even if you're low level, I'm talking, I, I basically, the first round I was able to get was probably in my forties or you just kind of keep asking until somebody's nice enough to carry you. But what the thing is with that is it might be a low level and it might be like take forever to get hit. Don't quit because you'll eventually start getting hits and you're going to level very fast. Like even if you get, even if you get one hit on one of these dudes, you still get like 3000 XP. Like it's like a little, you know what I mean? That's like, damn dude, like that's a ton bro. Like, you know what I mean? So if you're with high level players, they can obviously tank, which means they can take all the hits for you. So you can do something. So what I'd also recommend doing is magic first. Magic is a very good starter. Um, it's, it's strong and it attacks a lot of enemies and it levels quickly. As in like, you get a lot of unlocks per each level progression. Then after that, uh, so as you level magic in RS3, like your, I know this was like a Zelda gameplay, but I mean, to be honest, guys, I just well, I want to talk about RuneScape. That's what I've been doing. Wouldn't be commentary with me if I could talk about a completely different game while I'm playing a different one. But either way, let's get, yeah, let's get kind of back to what I was saying. So um, even if you, how, am I, how do I put this? So yeah, you, as you, 
you can choose like what XP you get. It doesn't work in the way that you should com choose a combat cell anymore. What it does, unless you're in Legacy, what it does is it allows you to choose which XP you get. So what happens with like the magic will up, you know, will push the defense up as well. Like that's it's usually like split XP. So I was able to get, you know, um, 99 magic and 99 defense in like one thing. I literally went. You know, it took like a few days for me to get to 99, but dude, that is so fast. If you never played, it might not seem that way, especially if you like played ED3, but ED3 is a miracle, bro. I would literally sit between six level 60 and 80. And I have it on my, um, literally my Iron Man right now, like I'm um, old school. Like I've, I always just kind of, like it comes to a certain point where the grind is no longer fun for me. And not not everybody experienced, and I've been, I was starting to adjust the button size, by the way, but some people like challenge me personally, not a big fan of, you know, like just arbitrary challenge, like, like long grinds to me, like people will feel accomplished when they complete it. And I do too, but I want a shortcut, man. I don't want to have to deal with just like the whole end result. What am I talking about? I'm, dude, I got so distracted. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want to have to deal with, I don't want to have to deal with doing more to get to the same end result. If the end result is me getting the same abilities as somebody who's just going to sit there and, like, get 20 XP per kill, like, and just does it over and over again, I mean, more power to you. Like, for real, more power to you. I'm not going to, you know, I think it's, like, and personally, I probably would have enjoyed this game a lot more when I was younger if I was into long hours of grind grinding. But basically, yo, I played a game called, uh, like, Toontown when I was younger, and it's, like, Basically, it's like robots take over, right? And you have to fucking throw gags at them and you fight them and stuff. It's, it was a really fun game. And um, they got like, I think they they got like private server that I played like a few years ago. I was like, damn, this is like super cringy, but I was having a good fucking time. <laughs> You're a clo closeted Toontown player. <laughs> Can't tell anybody. <laughs> I was having a good time, but basically I maxed that shit out. And so I was okay with that grind, because that was a grind too, bro. You had to, like, train up certain things. And for instance, from, like, there's, like, there's, like, throw, there's squirt, there's head squirt. Uh, there's a fucking, like, trap lure tune-up, which is just healing, and they got drop, right? And then I think, yeah, trap lure, and there's sound, right? So there's, you give different, like, things. There's also, like, a newer version that has a skill called zap as well, which is pretty tight, so... Uh, and level eight gags. I don't know, there's like a lot to that game that I really enjoyed. And I, so I, I do, don't get me wrong, I do like long games you grind out, but I think the game has to be fun feeling. Like, like this game's fun, but I know for sure, like aesthetically right now, I just don't find it as like appealing. And I think that, I don't know why I'm going back to be honest, but. Yeah, we almost got past there. I think, hopefully you guys just see that the gameplay is decent. Maybe not my literal gameplay. <laughs> Maybe my actions are not decent. But yeah, I was like, whoa, what the hell? Like, what kind of power is that? Like, hey, let's go. <laughs> but yeah, I love, like, and that game was a good start for me into, like, RPGs. Like, you would think that at to Toontown's not an RPG, but it was. Like, you know, it was very simple. It was, like, turn-by-turn -turn based combat. I enjoyed it. It was strategic, like, you know, somewhat. There's, like, some things, I mean, like, okay, so, for instance, like, if you, sound is, like, is something that will hit all people, right? And so, but it only does, like, it does low damage. And if you're in a situation where you're pretty much going to get fucked up, you want to, like, lure them in. Like, which means you, like, you know, some of them would be, like, a dollar you, like, put out on a fishing rod and it pulls them in, right? And so... Or another one is like a mag, like a ma literal magnet, um, and it'll pull them in. The top one is like these goggles that like have your eyes spinning, and they just like stick their arms up and like take us on board. But when they're in that leeward state, they can't attack you. So if you were to use sound, like one, you step basically you hit you you like push all of them back after the lure, which was already a wasted term, like a, a wasted turn in terms of your ability to attack because you're trying to obviously protect yourself. Um, but you also, if you if somebody does sound, bro, like, even, like, level 5 only would do 21 damage, which is fucking low-ass damage, bro. Like, And people would do this. 
Um, another, another thing too is like throwing out trap randomly or throwing throwing trap at a lured cog. Like, or actually, I don't think you do that. I'm kind of forgetting. Um, what was another one? Doubling up on people with tune up. Obviously, don't do that. But there's there are more. But I mean, that was just one instance of like having but yeah if you got paired with like a fucking noob it was pretty pretty annoying but i mean there were like these factories you'd play in like like there's like you know there's like different like robot types like blah blah cash blah, 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 and all that right and you fight these bosses and like i thought it was so okay also that level six gag you go from like a pie to a birthday cake and if you guys ever saw the commercials as a kid for that game Dude, that birthday cake was the shit. But then he realized you had to get 6,000 XP to get it. And to me, that was, that was like a fucking mountain to climb, bro. But, like, the you could, you'd hold, like, a certain key, like, all their option or something on your keyboard and pull the gag. And, like, I remember, like, looking at this shit and be like, dog, like, fuck, yes. Like, I can't fucking believe, like, especially when I maxed out for the first time. That was pretty exciting. Um, and I say first time because I've definitely done it twice, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two times. Pretty great. It's uh, as nerdy as you think. Don't, uh... <laughs> it's as nerdy as you think it is. Um, But, I mean, dude, fuck it. Who cares, man? Like, that's the best thing about today, man. You can, like, play whatever the fuck you want to play. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do, man. Like, just, you know what I mean? Like, like one way to go through life, man, and I have a hard time doing this, but it's just to not give a fuck. Like, I... Remember, if I, so it's 2023, I finished high school, or should have finished in 2013, I finished, like, pretty sure 2015, forgive your boy, learning his place, um, that I didn't even know I had at the time, genuinely just had my confidence crushed because I didn't bath twice. Yeah, that's besides the point, <laughs> but how, okay, but if I'm in that shitty situation, I have to switch schools, how would I deal with it? Well, uh, getting lost in video games. So one of the ones I got lost in was Toon Town. I got lost in RuneScape. got lost in Spyro. I got lost in Kingdom Hearts. So these four games. And then any old old PS2 emulation. Like like these games were worlds I could I could step into and escape my own. And it sounds like, you know, why would you want to do that? But I mean there are times where I felt very lonely. Like there are times where like I felt very like unaccomplished and like doing and you know what I mean? It's hard to deal with that stuff, so People use video games as an escape. If you're watching this and, like, you have, like, a family member who plays a ton of games, like, don't... And they could just genuinely enjoy the games, too. But sometimes when there's, like... Like, you could really enjoy a game and play for hours. Like, that's kick-ass. But sometimes, like, games are an escape. Like, and they really are. Like, it is... It's a way to travel to, like, a different dimension. Especially with, like, VR now. Like, you really can get into the game and be a game character. And it's... It's unreal. So I've been playing, like, I've talked about Contractors before, but I fucking love Contractors. Like, that game is amazing, bro. Especially since I recently got the Modern Warfare 2 remastered gun pack. All this shit's free, by the way. Um, and I was playing on Rust. Yo, I got a, I got a quick scope. A 360 quick scope. Uh, I was spinning around in my living room. <laughs> I shot, I hit him. I was like, bro, I think it was a no scope, probably. I just thought it was the shit, bro. Man, I lucked out, bro. Did you see... Did you see how close I was? Unless that was a mechanic. We jump off. But it, uh, I felt very close to that rock. As it, as in, I was like, gonna hit that rock. So, yikes. Um, Another thing, too, is... uh, Me, I'm... uh, Man, I love sharing personal details with you guys. I don't want to stop doing that, but... Uh, I'm a very, I'm just pretty much a homebody. So I love just, I can, yeah, I love being at home. I'll be home. I'll be, I'll be at home all day and I'll just hang out with my wife and it's a good ass time. And that's enough social interaction for me, man. Like the, also the interaction I get is from talking with you guys in the comments. Like that's, that's enough for me, man. Like I love it when you guys comment and stuff cause it just kind <laughs> of gives me that interaction, but also, uh, <laughs> but also yeah, that <laughs> nah, but. It's, it's nice, like, like having an audience. Like, I can make a video and post it, and then somebody will comment. You know, somebody will say something. And that's cool. That the fact that, like, anybody anywhere could see a video that I post and then respond to it. And it also feels like with these videos, I'm, like, 
investing in my future. I'm very close to that pay threshold. So we're, man, did YouTube doing me dirty with making me think I got 21 or 27? Not really sure, but if you want to hit subscribe and basically fucking throw that off to get your boy past 927, let's, I basically, if this is the case, I would have lost six subs today, which is a lot of subscribers. Don't even know why. Don't even know what I thought people were responding well to my content recently, but you can't obviously beggars can't be choosers, can't really force somebody to like your videos. But if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, save your boy. Let's get back past 27 if we lost that. Save your motherfucking boy. Help your boy out. Um but yeah, I, I just also thought it was kind of fun climbing around. I think I just think that like playing on here though, it's it's a good time. I just think and it's if it's what you got to play, hell yeah. But I would definitely recommend buying one of those controllers where it's like an extension because hardware controls are so much better than touch controls for this. Like, I felt very stifled. Like, yeah. like I felt like I didn't have like a, like, as you can see, like the sensitivity, I could turn it up. But for me, like, it functions well. Like, like looking at this, if you guys can see, it's kind of off screen. Apologies. But look, like looking at this, like me, I don't know, but it's like, me real like looking at what we're playing on phones now like the fact that i can like it was a dream back in the day to take a console game and play it in your room and of course nintendo took that idea to the extreme and made the switch but i mean that is still a console game like a switch is a console this is obviously a gaming phone so it has console specs are very close to it uh but like real yeah hero is starting to get pretty chunky the, the device was getting hot it wasn't like burning my hands but that's typically what happens i'm running you might have running diablo mode i'm running that crazy locked processor speed with everything boosted out fully so that is also why the phones are getting hot but the fan does do a good job of um dealing with that but yeah. Sorry, y'all, but just don't, um, I hear I was trying to figure out how to cook. <laughs> Let him cook. Sorry. So, uh, also, I was here, I was like, what button do I press to get out of this? Like, what? Bro, come on, you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Tell your boy. Tell your freaking boy. What are you? All right, anyway. Yep. We are nearing the end of the video. Um, but yeah, so here I'm trying to cook and I don't figure it out, but I figured y'all seen enough of me spinning around and struggling to play, but as you can saw, there was only a few frame drops. Um, imagine like this on a device with no heat management as in literally no fan to push heat out. Like imagine how different this gameplay would be on a different device that doesn't have a fan. So the fan absolutely helps. Obviously that's why even the Mac minis, if you're an Apple fanboy, have have fans in them because you need to keep your tech cool to uh have efficient uh power pretty much but also consistent power so that's pretty much what that does yeah but yeah here i was like bro how how like no talk and it might be like a glitch because i feel like some like there should have been a toggle that popped up like you know what i'm saying i got like a toasty Maybe that was what they wanted me to cook. I don't. And they always think let him cook. <laughs> it's like it's like all I uh, think about with that. But yeah, also, hmm. you playing RuneScape? That's one of those games where like some of the stuff is really funny, and you could stand on fire and it does nothing, and then this game is like you're. It's like I am very hot, like. <laughs> I don't know, randomly, real quick, because I have, like, a minute left. But basically, towards when you're fighting this guy, it's his name, the boss's name is Bossy McBossface, which I thought was stupid and hilarious at the same time. And uh, when you're fighting him, he's like, do I know me? Who am I? What am I? Do I remember me? Like, he's just, like, he could constantly, dude, constantly just, <laughs> and it reminds me of Cornholio, dude. <laughs> Are you threatening me? <laughs> Shabadee. <laughs> I'm gonna be, okay, so look at the great Cornholio. 
with by uh be like and it's on beavis and butthead the show just look up the great corner leo you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. that's my favorite thing <laughs> like ever is fantastic but yeah as we are nearing the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching um and yeah hope you guys have a good one and yeah we got like more three two one later guys Thank you guys so much for watching. Take me time here. Um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully I can alliterate again or reiterate alliterate. Apparently being alliterate with my ability to read and understand how to talk correctly. So it's that. <laughs> Damn. Catching. Uh, self roast pretty hard. But yeah, dude. Um, yeah, thank you guys. I'll leave you a subscription if you want. Subscribe to the membership section. Uh, if you want to support my channel voluntarily, leave a super thanks. Keep that subscribe the subscriber count moving up, boys. Uh, we are close to a thousand thousand subscriber goal. Nine hundred twenty-seven, but it says nine hundred twenty-one in YouTube studios. So what the fuck? I don't really know what's going on with that. But if you want, if you hit subscribe a million times, we will get past the weird fuck. So I'm telling you, every account you got, hit that subscribe button. You have an alternative email. Freaking subscribe, boys. We got to get this to a thousand. I need literally. It's. I mean, it's either um, 79 or 74, and my math is probably ass and completely wrong, So, or 73. It's 73 or 79. Either way, whatever it is, use your alt accounts, anything, boys. Let's fucking get this to 1,000 so I can start using uh, my motherfucking ads for revenue. So uh, I just tallied also last month's 23, which is like over $500, which is nuts to me because I never thought I'd be anywhere near making that a month especially on YouTube. Um, appreciate you listening thus far too. But that is just a wild ass number. So if you want to, I literally could actually pick up the phone very soon um, with two months of watching. If you guys just continue to stream the content and share it with your friends and subscribe, like if you keep this shit moving boys, like we can actually you can start getting paid. I can get way more phones. And literally I could do like hours of content on the 8S Pro, hours of content on the uh, the new full phone, Vivo, uh, fold v2 or something whatever it is 9.9 millimeter thick foldable phone pretty freaking gnarly gonna get that too and the uh sony xperia one mark 5 i'm curious to see how 4k display will run with a beast of a processor and beast of gpu uh built in obviously uh but yeah uh thank you so much for watching and appreciate it have a good day